Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Look what I just bought. This is a seven cubic foot uh, hot point deep freezer, uh, chest freezer, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, I just took it out of the box. And what I plan on doing is um, getting it all ready to go. I'm gonna plug it into this 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery. It's uh, uh, the Uniwix battery that I have. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just plug it into that, start it up, and we're gonna see how long that this battery can run it for. You know, if, if it can run it so, uh, so it can get all the way down to temperature and then kind of sustain. And we're just gonna kind of see how long this battery will last. Uh, I'll be using my uh, 1500 watt alpha inverter to power it. So let's go ahead and uh, get this ready and plugged in. All right, I got all the tape off. Uh, I just wanted to show you that, yeah, it is brand new. There's gonna be nothing in there. Uh, and we're gonna be plugging this in. Uh, here is the Energy Star rating for anyone who cares. Let's get this, get this tape off of here. But here is the Energy Star rating. So it looks like it's going to cost me about 30 bucks a year, but it's not because it's going to be plugged into my off grid system 24 7. So it's going to cost me $0 a year. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and get the batteries all set up and, uh, and we'll, we'll plug this in. I'm gonna plug this battery in, I'm gonna charge it, make sure it's uh, topped off. Cause it only shows 13.3. All right, the charger shows green. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all the values. Okay, so you can see that the values are all set to zero. And I think all we need to do now is plug it in. And turn it on, make sure the compressor kicks in. And right now it looks like we're using about 100 watts of power. Oh, it's starting to go down a little bit. But yeah, this freezer is definitely uh, on. We're going to go ahead and just leave this battery hooked into this uh, freezer. And we'll come back to it every so often to make sure that uh, it's still on. All right, well, it's now 4.30 p.m., so let's go ahead and check out uh, where this battery's at. And it looks like, oh my God, we've only used 22.6 amp hours. And it's been running for seven hours. It's only using 10 watts. So this freezer is definitely down to the point where uh, it's holding temperature. I think we should open it up and kind of see what the temperature is in there. So let's take this off. All right, let's open this up. And the thermostat reads, Thermostat reads right at zero. That's exactly where we want it. And you can see that, yeah, it's empty. And so I wanted to make sure that everyone knows that during this test, I you know it looks like this is gonna be able to run this freezer for uh, at least 24 hours. Um, and if you have a freezer like this and you have it completely full, it will run for even longer because the more stuff you have in there, the better insulated it will, it will stay. Uh, when it's completely empty like this, that's probably gonna be the, the least efficient way of running a freezer. So um, it would be actually interesting to see how long it, it runs on a uh, 100 amp 12 volt battery when it's empty, and then also how long it would run 
when it's, you know, got some food in it, you know, maybe half full. I, I, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to fill up this freezer, but uh, maybe I'll do this experiment again when we actually have a bunch of freezer food in it and see if it actually lasts longer. All right, it's uh, 8.45 at night now, and uh, let's go ahead and check out how our battery connected to our brand new freezer is doing. All right, what do we got? Looks like 34.8 amp hours have been used so far in the first 11 hours and 17 minutes. This deep freezer will, will easily go a whole day, I believe, on one full battery charge. Let's go ahead and open up the freezer to see what the temperature is. It should still be at zero with no problem. Oh yeah, right at zero. Perfect. Feels nice and cold. Starting to get some frost on there a little bit. All right, so everything's working, working really well. I'm not gonna put anything in this freezer until this test is done, which is a bummer because it's probably not gonna be until tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, but I'll go ahead and do it. I guess let me tell you a little bit more about this freezer, just in case you're wondering. It's a hot point seven cubic foot freezer. And here's the, I'll get the information right here for you. Just in case you were wondering. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and um, we'll see what this is like uh, when I get up tomorrow morning. So see you in about uh, 10 hours. Good morning, everyone. And now it is eight o'clock in the morning and let's go check out how our freezer and our battery is doing. Our battery is used up 69.3 amp hours and it's been running for 22 hours and 43 minutes. Right now you can see that uh, the freezer is actually using 68.9 watts. So it's kind of calmed down and our voltage is still at 12.9. So yeah, I'll come back in like four or five hours and, and see what's up. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, we're looking at oh yeah, maybe even 30 hours, 30 hours of a deep freezer running on a 12 volt, 100 amp battery. And that's, yeah, and that's with nothing in it. So. Uh, yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back in like, I don't know, four or five, four or five hours. Maybe when I hear it beeping, I don't know. We'll see. All right, everyone. It's now 3 p.m. and let's see what our battery's at. All right. Battery voltage is 12.7. We've been running for almost 30 hours and we're at 91 amp hours used up. So we have about nine more amp hours to go. Uh, and it sounds like the uh, freezer just kicked on. Let's go ahead and check the thermometer inside, make sure it's still at zero. Yep, right at zero. I was actually kind of worried about that because I noticed that, you know, we're only at 12.6 volts. The voltage on the inverter only shows 92 volts is going in. So I was hoping that this thing wasn't going to uh, have an issue with that, that little amount of voltage. But so far it's running just fine. Well, my guess is that this battery is only gonna last for another hour or two. So I'll come back in an hour and we'll see what it's at. All right, everyone. I have been sitting here for the past 10 minutes waiting for this battery to die. Um, the, uh, the voltage is at 12.1. It's been running for 32 hours and 10 minutes. Here, let's check it out. Look at that. Voltage is 12.1. It's been running for 32 hours, 10 minutes. That is 1.27 kilowatt hours. So we're just, just shy of our battery capacity. Uh, we've used 98.4 amp hours. So yeah, uh, I'm just patiently waiting for this battery to die. I mean, I, I, I want to just cut it out right now, but um, I want to see it to the end. The thing about this is the, this battery, the, I believe the BMS on this battery shuts off at 11 volts. So I won't get any kind of beeps or indications from the inverter that starts beeping once it gets below 11 volts. Um, and the inverter actually shuts off at 10.5. But I'm just gonna patiently wait and then uh, I'll probably miss it 
and we'll have to uh, wake up the battery to see our final results. So we'll just do that. All right, everyone, I am going to call it. Check out these numbers. We are, our final voltage is 11.2, so this thing is just about dead. But the, uh, the capacity is 100 amp hours. The time is 32 hours and 30 minutes. So we ran this seven cubic deep freezer for 32 hours and 30 minutes. So yeah, I would say that's a really good number. Uh, you know, over 32 hours, 32 and a half hours. That's, um, that's really good to know for if there ever is a power outage and I need to use this 100 amp battery to run this freezer, I know I can, I can run it for a good day. Um, and that is being, and, and you have to remember that this test was, I just bought this thing. So it was at room temperature when I started this test. So it's, it wasn't at zero when I started it. It was at, uh, you know, it was at 70 degrees. So it had to lower all the way down to zero and then maintain. And it did all that for 32 hours and 30 minutes. I bet if I did this exact test again, I would say we could probably get over 40 hours just because it would just be maintaining. It wouldn't be needing to drop from 70 to zero first. You know, that compressor is on constantly that whole time. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions about how I did this test or, uh, or anything about it, uh, please leave them in the, in the comment section below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more of my content, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.